type of stuff. It's not too bad. Got a decent little box full of stuff right there. Look at that. I didn't even look. I just, just so happened to... Oh, yeah, you saw the first swing I missed because I'm not really looking looking at the swing. <laughs> but, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff for Endless Treasure. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Going to wrap this clip up, segment up, I guess. I don't even know. Going to drop this off at the pack, uh, post office. Um, I'll show you guys off a couple of the actual decent stuff that I found today. Got a couple bangers. Just a couple bangers. Nothing too wild. But, uh, yeah, we're back. Uh, we literally completely sold out of everything in the garage. We went live like three times since last week's video or a week and a half video ago or whatever yeah and uh it's all gone so we I, I had to go out today and definitely work hard even though i uh, called it quits a little early because i'm tired and i'm hungry so we gotta get that whole thing situated before we can you know dive back on in but yeah <laughs> i'm sorry guys stay tuned to see what else we get into what's up everybody it is the next day uh, I didn't do anything else yesterday. I went home, got all the stuff hung up, uh, just double checked everything. You know, always like to go through real fast. Did some listings, some, some more cards on that, whatever bullshit. Dealt with some idiot on whatnot. Don't be, don't be that guy. Guys. Don't be that guy. Don't. You, you bring something to someone's attention. Less than 24 hours later, you start threatening them and stuff when they were trying to figure out something for you because there was a mistake and something happened. So they're trying to track it down for you and figure it out for you. But then you start being an ass, whatever. I'm not going to call anybody out, but you know who you are if you're watching this. Yeah. Gave you an ultimatum. Gave you a way out to uh, stop this uh, or else, you know, I'll be sending all that shit, that dumb ass shit you said to the rest because you said you're going to start selling. Probably not anymore after the dumb shit you say. They ain't going to want people like you on their app. Anyway. Uh, gonna go to merch god's house what well, what have been there in a fucking minute so gonna stop right now on the wisconsin border because you can literally drive two seconds to the border and get gas for like 40 cents cheaper a gallon does it make sense no but i'm doing it <laughs> and then i'm gonna head out to illinois to grace lake where merch god is and then yeah you guys already know we're gonna do some wheeling and dealing, some trades. It's been a minute since I'm there, since I've been there. But if you guys been rocking with me for a while, you guys know. You guys know merch guy. You guys have been there before. It's always a decent time too. So uh, stay tuned and uh, see. I mean, it's been a while. So I'll see what else he's got. I'm gonna go through his stuff and then yeah, see what else. Uh, see what kind of deal we get into. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> we made it to merch guys. The man. You already know. You guys been rocking with this. Like I said, you guys have you guys have been here before. Always find some sick stuff. I'm about to dive into this mountain. Is this doing it justice? I don't even know. It's insane though. But then look at this. Look at this guy. Woo! Beautiful setup. Beautiful setup. But yeah. I'm gonna start going through this here, and I'm gonna turn the camera on here and there and whatever you know, film some stuff. But uh, stay tuned. I've only gone through two bins, guys. There is so much, like, honestly, some fire-ass shit. It's very hard to even, like, decide what to even think about taking. It's, like, so much good stuff. I'm gonna show, like, a quick little thing. Days Confused, the Zigzag promo. These are all from the 80s, too. He's got a bunch of Bob Marley shirts in here. The 80s Budweiser, Zippy goes to Weed Sock. Bunch of dope-ass 80s weed stuff. There was a sick McDonald's one I even seen in here, too. But these are just, like, all some stuff I was just wanna show you guys. There it is. The marijuana, trillions and trillions smoked, bunch of super sick stuff. Uh, yeah, quick little update, but gonna dive back in. Stay tuned.
finishing up here. Got a nice little stack. We did some nice wheeling and dealing. Always, always very happy. Merch God's got the best shit. Always super clean, super well taken care of. You guys already know, you've seen the shop a bunch of times. Let's go. I will go through it a little bit more. I literally just folded it. I don't know why. I should have been uh, videoing this while I was folding it because I don't feel like refolding it again right this second. So I'm going to show you guys when I get home. But hey, shout out. There he is. Check it out at thank you merch god on Instagram. I'll put it in the uh, description as well. But yeah, if you guys follow me on IG, I put the tag up today. So, but today was not going to be today for you guys. So, whatever. Anyway, at thank you merch god, check it out. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Back in the garage uh, later in the day from Merch God's place. Appreciate you again for the sick deals. Always a pleasure. Love hanging out there. Just chopping it up as well. It's always a good time. Love the vibes in that place. Just sick. And then uh, I'm going to also show you guys off some of the things that I picked up. Well, on the way there, I just grabbed these two things on the way there. I stopped at Design Thrift. I'll show these real quick. It was half off purple. This was a purple tag, five bucks, so 250. The all over Captain America. Dig it. This brand new with tag still. Lynn Sanity. Jeremy Lynn stitched. It was 17 bucks, but you know what? It was hard to pass up on this brand new, beautiful jersey. So that's the two things I scooped on the way to Merch God's place. And then all this stuff right here, plus these two really sick hats, is what I got from him. We'll show off to start right here, the 1990. Let me double check the camera. All right, the 1990 uh, All-Star Game Chicago Cubs hat. Really sick. It's even got like True Value. My dad used to work at True Value back in the day. It's got the True Value hit back there. <laughs> we got the 1986 Superdome, Super Bowl, or the, is the Super Bowl at the Superdome. This is crazy. What are these? I forgot what these, these, uh, these styles of hats are called, but really sick. Hooked me up. Big time on this stuff. Really appreciate it. Snag this for the, you know, the, the little thrifts. I'm so, I'm so, I mean the little thrifts, the little whatnots. I'm glad that whatnot has now split in half. There's actually now, like, not vintage and thrift is now one category. It is now split. There's the vintage category and then the thrift category. And I really like that because it kind of like was getting over flooded and it was kind of hard to tell because people were mixing both. And like, I was doing the same thing because, like, you know, what are you gonna do? There's no specifics. So, I like it now because now I can do, you know, just like regular newer age thrift items on a live specifically and then I can do vintage ones, you know, and then everybody can like find it easier. I thought that was cool. But yeah, snag this from, uh, from Merch Guys. And then of course, you know me, I love, love the jerseys. Got the Earl Acker. You got the Brian Cox on the Logo 7. I know it's not Ayo's because it's a little bit older Nike, but right here, your boy Ayo Dusumu, <laughs> Illinois basketball jersey. We got the youth Brett Favre, the youth LeBron James from the Cavaliers. Uh, and then getting into some tees now, some bangers. Pretty much, I'd say all this is like low key, low key mid bangers. Uh, the Mayweather and fuck, who is this? Madonna too. I don't even know. Just always, always pick up the the boxing tees. They always do pretty well, and I uh, I enjoy boxing. So scoop that. We got the Street Fighter tee. Always a good little graphic. R.I.P. We got the Cedric Benson. Dang, that's a very clean, very clean shirt. Like I said, R.I.P. That was sad. Gone too soon. We got the New Age Kiss on the Winterland. It's not too crazy, but you gotta get those nice little mids for the for the people. The Disney tea, mixing it up a little bit. Then the rest of this stuff is like true, true vintage. Some crazy shit here. We're gonna get into it. You got the Talks Cheap, the Bell Phone Center. This is pretty dope. Nice little vintage piece. And then here on that old, old Screen Stars tag. It's just like a concert security t-shirt, but it's from 1984, 85. Thought that was pretty sick. The SIU arena, so the Southern Illinois University arena. Thought that was pretty dope. So, got that. We also got this. He said it was like a, a magazine type thing back in the day. I don't know. Do some more research as well. So I can like, you know, actually get some info for the people when people do ask. But sick, sick vintage t-shirt. Merch guy's got some crazy, crazy amount of t-shirts. Came up huge. I'm glad. Well deserved. 
Another one, this uh, Shemp for Victory. These like political weed t-shirts from back in the day on that Screen Stars Best. And then you got, uh, I don't know, just this nice little vintage t-shirt on the Screen Stars. Party Animal. I thought that was pretty sick. Snack that up. Then here, we got some like Bob, I don't know, I don't know exactly who's on here, but I think it's like Bob Marley's band. Or maybe Ziggy Marley's band. Or maybe one of those bands like that, like the Whalers or it's some, something along those lines. Um, the Screen Stars Double XL2. What a good size for this vintage t-shirt. These all actually came from Jamaica as well. There's like, he was telling me, uh, about this guy that got these. Uh, doubled up, snagged it. There was a whole bunch. He's got a crazy amount. Double XL. Double XL, guys. That's an insane size for back in the day. Don't find that too often. The Bob Marley Museum. This is sick. Kingston, Jamaica. Super old. Screen stars tag again. So clean. I think I doubled up on this one too. I snagged one. Yeah. Snagged another one. Uh, this one's a little bit different print. It's like uh, not as like, I think like, yeah, the other one's a little bit like shinier, I would say. This one's not as shiny, a little bit more of a, like a matte finish. And it's on a different tag as well. The Sun Island, actually made in Jamaica tag too. Pretty sick. And then this is the uh, the zigzag, the rolling papers. This is like the zigzag. Pretty sure that, like that's where the original design comes from. Is this, this is it. <laughs> size large that beautiful screen stars doubled up on that one on the screen stars this is a 2xl crazy but this one has weed stock 1991 fried gone to heaven that's so crazy super dope and this one here you got bob marley smoking a joint crazy and that beautiful screen stars best tag this is another absolute fire. Get out of here, little fuzz. The McDonald's marijuana. Trillions and trillions stoned. Or smoked. Yeah, trillions and trillions smoked. My bad. <laughs> the Screen Stars tag. Ooh wee. Nice little Rasta shirt. There's so many more. I've definitely got to go back and uh, work out some more wheels and deals. I didn't under I didn't honestly I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Whew. A lot. There's a lot. I was there for hours and hours digging, but I had a blast, honestly. It was a good time. It's been a while since I've seen them, so it was good catching up, too. Look at this. I doubled up on this one. It says, Hey, Iraq, read my lips. I can't remember who this is off the top of my head. Please tell me in the comments. Is it Larry King or is it, uh, fuck. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Uh, double XL. Another nice size for a real true vintage t-shirt. Like I said, doubled up on this one. This one's a little bit smaller, a little bit different too. Like I'm pretty sure the guy worked for like the uh, like a printing company that was doing all these shirts or whatever, or something like that. I can't remember the exact story, but yeah, <laughs> the fruit of the loom. This is pretty sick too. I just saw this. It says Storm and Norman, Operation Desert Storm, a job well done. 91 on the timestamp. Tag's a little washed out, but it's all good. Nice, nice vintage. We got the Jamaican bobsled team. You guys remember Cool Runnings, dude? One of my favorite fucking movies as a kid. Goddamn John Candy, man. Jamaica bobsled team. Pit crew. Dang, absolute banger. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what I got from Merch God. Good stuff. Very happy. Uh, can't thank him enough. Like I said, always hooks me up. Always, always happy when we walk out of there, so... That's always a plus, you know. I'll show off the bin stuff really fast. Uh, just some, just some random little T-shirts here. Some, I don't know, some graphic tees for some whatnots, you know. Start some stuff, stuff off at a dollar. Get some good stuff for people. You got the Keith Urban uh, tour tee though. It's pretty dope. 2016. Uh, no idea what this is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Some anime. Not a clue. It's on a Gildan tag. If anybody knows. Hmm, I don't know, but cool. So I snagged that. I've had this print a bunch of times before. Uh, the mountain, it's like a little pug and like, you know, it's a little, little marine get up there. Got a couple of Rick and Morty shirts. Here's one of them. Nice little new age Rick and Morty. It's easy to pick up all the stuff like the bins because it's all paid by the pound. So I'll grab all these graphic tees that usually I would pass up like at the actual racks because they would be charging like five, six dollars a shirt for this. And that's just too much. <laughs> nice Rick and Morty though. We got the 
Which one is this? The Michigan Hockey on the old Stephen Berries. Snag like this. Patagonia. See, that, like, this is the stuff I'm talking about. It's gonna be nice, like, because you can get a bunch of stuff like this from the thrift or whatever, too. And uh, it doesn't really go well in the vintage category when you're trying to sell stuff. And I don't know. It's just nice getting more, like, detailed and more, uh, what, I guess, detailed? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say because I'm like looking at this thinking about what I'm going to say about this as I'm trying to talk to you guys and formulate a different conversation. I shouldn't do that. Stick to the clothes, bro. Harley Davidson cut off little vest thing here. I don't know. Sick. At the bins, like I said, paid by the pound. Snagged it up. Nice little like stone wash looking the Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Yacht Club. Did I say that weird? Did I say it right? I don't know. I try. I try, man. Snap on. Nice little graphic tee, thought that was sick. Got the, another Keith Urban. Ooh, the 08 Obama. Might put these on ice, cause I feel like a bunch of the 08 Obama stuff is gonna be uh, running wild uh, in a few years. Price wise, I'm saying. New age little Venom tee. Nice little new age Marvel Avengers tee. This is a vulgar t-shirt right here. Green Bay fucking Wisconsin. Uh, if you don't bleed green and yellow, take your bitch ass home. All right. Well, I didn't ever read the back until just now. This thing is ridiculous. Fuck the Packers. On to the next. Uh, <laughs> on the triple A tag. Rise above some cognac. Martell. I don't know. I don't drink. Been so real for four years. No idea what that is. 70s Gemini. Old Tammy. Tammy don't need her shirt no more. No, I'm playing. Cal Crew tag? It's pretty sick. Got the South Park. Happy Holidays. On the actual South Park tag. 2010 on the timestamp. Nice little pickup thur. Bang! If you guys watch all those like sport card break lives, they always every time they pull out a card and they're trying to like get everybody hyped for it because they're trying to take everyone's money, even though all the cards are worth absolutely nothing. Bang! You got the top sports 1993. It is cut the sleeves, but you know I had to grab it. I've had a Fleer one now, and I've had another tops like the 80s uh, crew neck. It's funny that I'm finding all these like card related stuff, and I've never found this stuff before until we started doing those breaks on whatnot. So kind of funny. Extra large. Uh, I wish this was a little bit bigger, but the Spider-Man 2, look at the detail on the tag. The Spider-Man 2, it's pretty sick. Youth large, though. The only downfall. Nice little vintage graphic t-shirt right here. We got the turkeys running wild. Running wild out there. I don't know what the fuck this is. Frontline protection security. It's just like a football t-shirt. Offensive line, maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Uh, just had heavy, heavy thread count, so I picked it up. Because why not? Why not for the whatnot? You got a vintage, I believe this is 80s uh, Batman tank top. The tag is washed out, but it, I found this next to that 70s uh, Gemini t-shirt, so I believe it's around the same era-ish. So many campers, so little time. 1996 on the timestamp, and it's Earth, Sun, Moon. I don't know what the fuck that means, but yeah, Earth, Sun, and Moon. <laughs> Little mosquito t-shirt, this is pretty sick. Then we got right here, doesn't have the tag, but it is nutmeg stamped down there. Kind of thrashed as well, but you got the vintage uh, Shannon Sharp t-shirt. Kind of whack, but whatever. <laughs> you got the cruising, cruising clipper, spice rum. Uh, the spice of life, I, if you say so, not really sure. The spice of life. Anyway, single stitch all over. There we go. And last but not least, sorry, I completely, oh no, not even last. Holy shit. Guys, I have a whole rack of crew necks and hoodies over there that we got as well. Oh my God. All right, we got to hustle. We got to hustle through this. This is going to be the end of the video too. Might as well. Why hell not? We got a good amount of stuff for the last only two days. Sheesh. Let's go. Bootios. Uh, is this when they were called New Day? I know they're uh, New Day now, but I don't know. I'm getting back into wrestling. You got the Miz. This is pretty sick. Might I actually might hang on to the Miz one. I don't know, just to wear it. Mess around a little bit. Me, me and Easy, we've been watching uh, SmackDown and Raw again a bunch. Getting back into it. You guys were on our live during our. If you were watching the Whatnot live, you saw we were watching WrestleMania uh, on live and showing. Shh, we 
we are showing the people. But anyway, Summerfest hoodie, Detroit Lions hoodie. Rapid fire. <laughs> I've never seen this before. We got the Starberry hoodie. I always just find the jerseys, never find the hoodie. That's insane. We got, uh, this is, there was a couple of these like holiday crew necks, whatever. So I snagged them all up. Dollywood, I don't know. Nice little snowman hit. Then we got this one as well. Holiday, whatever. We got a little bird there. <sighs> Pay by the pounds bin. What are you going to do? Uh, Northwestern University. This is like all patched and embroidered, whatever. On the Jan Sport Tag. Noise. Another summer fest on the heavy, heavy, thick triple A 9010 zip up. Never seen that tag before. That's pretty cool. I'm not saying it's special. I'm just saying I've never seen that one. Uh, oh, geez. Don't know there's no tag. It's like washed out of this one, but it has a bunch of smiley faces up and down the sleeves, and it says positive. Oh, positivity and happiness, so whatever. Bins. Gotta snag it. The Ohio State big boy size on the Stephen Berry's tag. Must scoop. And then you got the up north Wisconsin on a champion. I don't know. Why not, right? San Diego State, also on a champion. This one's actually not bad at all. I love the red and black, of course, because of the Bulls. The Bulls. Sadly, we just got bounced from the playoffs, but hey, it's all right. We gave them a run for their money the first two games. After that, they rolled over and died. We got the Green Bay Packers, all embroidered. NFL team tag. You got the Arizona State. This is also on a champion tag. The Arizona State Sun Devils. This is pretty cool. Super low key, to be honest with you. I didn't know it was an Arizona State Sun Devils hoodie at first. I had a look at it a little close and bam, it is what it is. And then you got a newer uh, Nike hoodie. Nothing crazy, just a simple uh, essentials with that little swoosh. You got the Wisconsin Badgers Big Ten Champion 2012. The 10 years old. That's kind of nuts, to be honest with you. But anyway. Got the Georgia, I don't know if this is what this is because it's not necessarily the exact colors of Georgia Bulldogs because that's like a navy blue in the Georgia and the red is a little bit dark, but hey, Georgia, and it is like on the college type apparel thing, so who knows? Maybe it's a different Georgia uh, school. Green Bay Packers, little essentials on the NFL tag. And then, bada bang, we got the anti-social social club hoodie. Nothing too wild anymore. I don't even know if people are still hyped about this shit. These, I remember when, this brand was just like another one of those hype brands. But anyway, hey, thank you guys so much. That was a very, very, very long wrap up to the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off here because that's enough stuff to me. And also, it's tomorrow's Friday. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's start the week over because it, it was a good week. Good week. We're going to go live soon again. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. Joey Testing Official on whatnot. Joey Testing Official on Instagram. You're already on my YouTube. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace.